you suggested earlier in the presentation that you know you're thinking this is a one in a billion kind of event. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing some very rough math here. 600 million collisions per second you can keep track of, <laughs> and, and at a decay rate of something like in the order of 20 nanoseconds, right? So how many sort of runs of the LHC do you need before you're pretty certain that it's not occurring here? The, the, the probability would suggest that over X number of collisions, we should see one of these guys at yeah. this energy level. At what point do you kind of say, man, we're not seeing it, or there's something wrong with the detectors, or you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, Help me, Frank, or I'll mess up your slides again. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think the time scale for uh, discovery at the LHC will be from two to, f two to five years, we'll start to see really crucial tests of whether we need physics beyond the standard model, or whether we can uh, home in on the Higgs particle or, or particles. Uh, so but that's is that, the time, that's... Right. And, and is that yeah, time frame, I, and when you hear him saying, you said three to five years, something like that? Yeah, two right. to three to five. Two to three to five years. <laughs> is that a process of refining the detecting strategies, or is that it's going to take us five years of constantly doing these collisions before we would even expect to see one of these big decays? And it's, it's kind of a, it's both. On one hand, you have these very rare processes, and so you need to be able to take enough data so that you can have, you can collect that data. On the other hand, you're talking about something. You're talking about trying to find something on top of a lot of other, you know, standard model collisions that are going on at the time. So it really is, you know, it's a fact. It's two things: one, getting the statistic, one sort of collecting Higgs events, and then the other is being able to get enough of the other type of events so that you can understand what those events look like, so that you can figure out which ones are which. And then you have to get it confirmed, and you know, it has to happen a right. number of times so that you begin to see the pattern. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. And, the, the and many of these predictions are statistical, so you, it's hard to tell in an individual event whether it might be a Higgs particle or uh, an ordinary kind of process that could look similar. So sometimes you just see a statistical excess of, of uh, events of a certain kind. So that's even more challenging. 